Hello. Windows Jakarta. Do you want to have a go at it? It's a lot easier than it looks when we break it down into its component parts. Would you like me to show you how easy it is? Give me five or six minutes of your valuable time. Watch this thing to the end and I can lead you into playing at least the first page and a half, quite simply, of Beedos to Carter. Come over the keys and enjoy. OK, here we are, concentrating just on the right hand. And I've turned it into a piano so that we can hear every note individually. It's ever so easy. What I want you to do first is play the chord of F. That's F A C with an F at the top. Now I want you to drop that top note down to E. So we're playing an F major 7. And now I want you to drop that top note again to D. And then I want you to take it back to E and back to F. So basically the top note is dropping down and up again. And then I want you to go down, but this time change that chord to G7, little baby G7 look, F, G, B, and I want you to make it a G13 by putting the E at the top, and then go to C. Right, so let's go again, F, major 7, F6, F major 7, F, major 7, drop the top, drop the top, take the top up, but this time when the top goes up you change the chord to a little baby G7, there's the E, so it goes down and up all the while. Change to G13 and then to C. Now what I want you to do is to play, the t play every note individually. Top note first, and now roll the chord of F. C, A, F, A. Let's get used to doing that. Top note, and the chord of F. Now stay on the chord of F, drop the top one down, play it individually, and now F, roll down and up again. And now F6, play the... D on its own, and still keep rolling down. So it's like the top note followed by the roll. Down, swoop down, swoop, and swoop up again. And then back to E, to F. And then change to that little G7 as we go up to the E at the top with the baby G7, E, little tiny G7, B, to C. And now all I want you to do is twiddle that top note. So instead of playing F and the roll, I want you to go twiddle at the top with your fifth, fourth and fifth finger. And then the separate chord, C, A, F. Go again on that at the top, twiddle, and then then drop that note down, and guess what? Twiddle it again, and then drop on to C, A, C, and then twiddle that top note, D, twiddles down to C, and then finish off with the roll, and then go back to E, twiddle it, then the roll, top note, twiddle, roll, Twiddle, twiddle, roll, then change that chord to that G13, still twiddle the top note. Let's go again on that one, twiddle the top note, and then that little baby G7, and then, and what we're going to do then, we're going to play exactly the same again. When we go on to C, we twiddle the top note. Roll down a C chord this time, twiddle the top note, so let's just practice those notes, it's going to go from C, you drop in the top down to B, 
down to A and then go back to the C. Let's just do that again. Twiddle, roll on C, twiddle down, roll, C6, we twiddle on the A to G, roll, twiddle, and then it goes on to D7, and you have to twiddle onto the back note, and then G. And that's the same principle but with the slightly more complicated chords in the right hand. And what's happening in the left hand? Come over the left hand and I'll show you. Remember the exercise that we did at the beginning with all the notes in the right hand? Drop down one, drop down, F major 7. The left hand is doing exactly the same but with all the notes played at the same time. So that, we copy onto the left hand. And then that little G7 with the E at the top. And then we go down to C. Drop down C major 7, C6. couldn't play like that, it's a bit boring like that, so what we need is the rhythm to go with it. And it can be complicated if we count it, but if I say to you, do it, you can do it. And on the word do, every time you say do, we drop that thumb down to, to play the top note. So we okay. go, do it, do it, you can do it, do it, you can do it. You can do it, oh do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do Then that little G7, do it on the G7. Let's put the two together. Do it, do, and it helps if you say do it, you can do it while you're playing the right hand. So make it fit together, do it, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it, oh do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it on G7. And then exactly the same, C, that was the note that we did for the uh, little exercise. We're dropping the top note down and we're doing exactly the same. say the words do it you can do it oh do it you can do it and every time you say do is when the top note of the chord goes up and down here we go you can do it you can do it oh do it anyway that's the first page and a half of V does to Carter D7 you can do it. That's the first page and a half. So just to finish with, let's go back to the uh, church organ sound and we'll play it. I'll leave the uh, camera over the keys like this so that you can see uh, the notes and we'll do it. Remember, do it, you can do it. We'll do it in time. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck with the rest of the piece. They're not quite so easy on the rest of the piece, but certainly the first page and a half, you can do it. So don't forget, it's a twiddle and a roll. Twiddle and a roll. You can do it. Here we go. Vidor Staccata, the first page and a half. Good luck. Do it. You can do it. Oh, do it. You can do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.